We got another one that was posted two minutes ago. Holy shit, man. Sheesh! With Season of Discovery Phase 2. Data mining, we found many different new items. Likely connected to the American level upgrade. Okay, so this is stuff that is very juicy. It is the loot and maybe a bunch of epic stuff from the American. Let's have a look. We have two-handed weapons. What it looks like, the Hydro Staff never really became an ep like the epic version of one, but it did give you 23 frost resistance for some, like, yeah, it's definitely not best for sure. But we are looking at a, like, a really good staff. Um, defibrillating staff. 11 stamina, 14 int, 15 spirit. Increase healing done by spells and effects up to 35. Increase damage done by arcane spells and effects by 26. Excuse me. Congrats, mage healers. What the fuck? It's so niched. It's still really good for the ca all casters, but that's so niched. Well, and we need to actually compare this. Uh, what's the uh, Black Fathom Deeps Raid Epic Staff? Why am I in caps lock? We need to have a look here. Here. Need to compare them side by side. Where are we? There. Okay, yeah, it's it's um That's a better staff for you. That's it's best for everyone, I guess, for all casters, but I mean let's be honest, it screams arcane mage. It screams arcane mage. It is to a certain degree why you why like it is bis, but at the same time, man, not priming this to a mage. I don't know. It it would it sounds fucked because a whole row of this uh is just you know arcane mage written all over. Use the the staff will sometimes be able to shock dead player back to oh so you can converse with it. This is a healing staff, bro. This is such a healing staff. You have built-in combo dress on it. Come on. Uh, Thermal plugs, rocket cleaver. 29 strength, 12 stamina. Holy shit. Supercharged head chopper. And healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just, it's, it, it is, it's, a, it's probably the best DPS staff there is, but like, you would give this to your arcane mage, like, like, of course you would. Uh, there's a sword, 23 strength, 9 agility. Other casters can't use it? Does it say just mage? I don't think so. No, no, everyone can use it. It's on Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, but this one increases healing done by spells and effects by 35. It's better than the staff from BFD. By, like... What was it? Uh, only nine. Um, oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, I read wrong. It's only healing. Yeah, yeah. Straight up healing staff. Holy fuck. Well, and I'm not sure if you play arcane mage. I guess you do. If you're arcane, if you're arcane mage, do you play healer and damage? I guess you do. Staff of Evil, I'm gonna look at the fucking stat difference, holy shit. Improves your chance to hit with spells and meet with melee attacks by 1%. Increases damage and healing done by 20. Crowd Pummeler, uh-huh. Whoa. Three epic weapons. Electric, uh, electric, electrocutioner's needle sword 
discharge mode of thunder. Then we have the Mechatork Arcano Shredder, Fist Weapon. And uh, discharge a blast of arcane damage for the arcane damage, reducing all resistance. Uh huh. And then I guess this is the relevant to the the caster uh, for casters. I guess increases damage shielding done by nineteen with some stats. Uh huh. There should probably be some offhands to go with this, obviously. Um, we have a mace, shielding done by spells. Toxic Revenger. Deals 30 nature damage every 5 seconds. Mm -hmm. Ultrasonic Viral Blade. Punctures targets armor, lowering it by 160. Tanking Mace. We have another DPS Mace. We have Offense. No epic offense. Um, increase healing down by uh, 22. Increase damage down by 14. Fist Weapon. And dismantling tool. Uh -huh. Nice weapon for hunter. Thermoplug custom blaster. Twenty six percent. Twenty six range attack power. What again is the crossbow, which is seventeen? Okay, two point eight, two point nine. All right, a gun. Hell yeah. Reason why I play dwarf. Uh, then we have Falco Sting. In agility. Okay. Wand, eight intellects. Another wand. That's nice. Holy shit. Amulets, max. Here's a chance to dodge. This looks like the quest item. The thing you turn in. You have a defense one, you have a physical one, you have a healer one, and you have a. Okay, yeah, you cast the one DPS and then and then healing. I'm hot, like almost hundred percent. This is the um, the um, the ones for um, what's it called for the quest. We got some backs. Okay, some decent upgrades. Increase hits uh, chance with hits. Um, increase your chance to hit with spells. And melee range attacks. 12 agility, nice. Here's your fall speed. Bunch of cloaks, nice, nice. Got rings. PvP rings as well. These ones, let's see. 5 end, 8 spirit, 5 arcane nature. Here's healing done by 13, 3 and per mana per 5. Then we have another one with 4 end, no spirit. Uh, damage and healing by 11, 4 mana per 5. Now we have a stat ring for physical. Mm-hmm. Trinkets. Nice, a bunch. The, the the chicken is really cool. Uh Miraturalized Combustion Chamber. Increases damage and healing by twelve. Randomly chance between one and hundred and fifty health in between one one and hundred and fifty mana every four seconds for ten seconds. Gyromatic experiments, ten frost resistance. Oh, yeah. Increase attack speed by 5% on use. You may be able to push this experiment further. Ah, oh, a little uh, kiss of the spider, perhaps. A minor kiss of the spider. Neodine pill bottle. Uh, makes the target ally immune to snare. Oh, okay, so like it's a pew, pew trinket to some degree. Uh, increase your chance to dodge. Increase your armor. So this is uh, but a moon speed. I see we see this a lot. Increases armor by hundred thousand, but movement speed reduced by six percent. And then these two, which is transformed to drug, and then this one is probably gonna be every physical uh like the, the dream of the physical. Maybe I'm not sure about caster as well, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh shoulders. Only one pair. No helmet from raid. We have crafted stuff, that's fine. Um chests. Two set fourteen spirit, three sets of ma seven mana per five. We we yeah we've seen this before with the hundred armor and then the increase chance because uh, your damage and healing by up to forty for ten seconds. Nice. And then we have another one which is five minus strength, ten minus stamina, nine. Int huh. Huh. 
Interesting. Okay, interesting. Wrists. Uh, fighter race gloves. Okay. Uh, belt. Here's a chance to hit with spells. Increase damage and healing. Cool. Got a mana profile with spell power and healing. Sorry, only healing. Another set. Three set of seven mana per five. Have another one here. Improves the chance to hit with spells. 100 armor. Chance to spell increase your by 40 for 10 seconds. Cool. Hyperconductive walkers. Similar thing there, which is just a three piece set. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Shoulders. Nice. Well, only two, but th th that's still still nice. Got chest piece as well. Another pair of wrists. Gloves. There's a lot of loot here. Belt. Legs. 21 agility. Damn. 21 agility again. Holy crap. Increase your chance to hit. Uh, Improves your chance to get a critical strike. A 1% daggers increased. 20 attack power with the. So it's just kind of fair, I guess, to some degree. Not only, but. I mean, feral. Uh, with, the, with the daggers as well. First pair of boots. Then we have mail. Increase your chance to get a critical strike chance. Nature, 22 of attack power. And then we get the set there, which is 24 attack power. And your three, three set is your attacks. have a 5% chance for running 100 mana. Okay. Increase the healing done by the day. 0.2 second cast time of your lightning bolt spell. Oh, that's very niche. Got male bracers, male wrists, male gloves, sorry. Uh, hell yeah, a purple one. Oh, again, similar to the Edge Master's handguard, which this which they mentioned before the um before even the SOD came out. Items like Edge Master's handguard is not gonna be a thing anymore. We've seen this in gloves, we're also seeing this in belt right now. It's kind of cool to see. Um wonder if it's gonna be too useful at all, but yeah. <clears throat> Some more legs. Those are belts, other belts. It's nice that they have both variety like changes. Like this has no stats, but it has like five plus and everything. Uh, I'm not whether that's gonna be in, important or not, I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Um more legs, male. Uh, 24 up attack power, and then da, da, da. so this is hunter, and this is shaman, basically. Same thing there. And then we have plates. We got plate shoulders. We got plate chest. Here's the defense. Uh, here's the, the set bonus here. We got 7 defense, 6 attack power. Here's your chance to hit by 1%. Increase damage and healing, and this is holy paladin, basically. We got wrists. Only cast one, okay. And we have gloves, belt, one for the holy and one for the, I guess, warrior and uh, paladin. Got legs again, same bonus here, increase the uh, critical hit chance of holy shock by 2%, yes, specifically holy. If you're a holy paladin, you're getting a bunch of loot free and easy. Don't compete with it. That is okay. Interesting. Obviously, the most interesting stuff is like sniffing on the on the on the purple stuff. Um, but all in all, I kind of I kind of I kind of like it. Um, the whole staff thing. I am wondering now, if we look at a. Let's see, because healing done, damage done. Okay, so this one. We would use this one, casters, and we would use this one. Compare that with the staff. Let's have a look right now. 
see what's actual bis. Because could it be that the staff is still bis for Gnomerigan? Some people thought it would be because it's so strong. Uh, I can definitely understand why. Let's compare the offhand and the main hand with the staff. So, I'm just going to type it down here. Just here. Staff. I'll show you in a, in a sec the notes. Staff has 15 int. Fortune Spirit. Minimum bonus 24, 26 even. And then we have the <clears throat> dagger with 7, 4 int. Let's just do pick a 4 int. And then uh, 19 damage. I think and then we would go with the, the offhand there. Which is, oh, actually, oof, damage 14. Quick little maths here. And then you have uh, 15 ints. And then, man. All right, I'll show you here. One sec. So in total, This is the staff, and this is the one-hander plus offhand. Now, like, you get a bit more int, you lose a little bit of spell damage. But the uh, you also get 14 spirit with the two spirit there, and then no spirit there, no stamina though. A raw output, I believe you would get more from the staff actually with the int, even though it's a difference there with the damage and the 26 damage. I would take the staff, god damn it, fuck, yeah, I would take the staff. Son of a bitch. All right. It looks like the staff is really, really good, even in Gromergen. You're going to see casters wanting to run BFD at level 40, and no one's going to want to join. Or, you know, you're going to level run level 40, and then you're going to join in with 24, level 24, 23, 25 players, or 25 leveled players. Or just other people at level 40 with their casters. God damn. Alright. That was it for the loot. Uh, the gun looks kind of interesting for the hunters, obviously. Um, the staff. I mean, come on. Congratulations, mage healers. Um, and then there's other three, three other weapons. Two other weapons. With the amulets. The rings, the bum, 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 bum. the belt. All in all, pretty cool. I, I, I phase two is looking very promising. Um, with that, cool, cool, nice, nice, and uh, that was it for the for the loot. Holy crap! Fuck, I think I need to hit the bed. Holy shit, I've been do just doing this for like... Oh my god. For the whole night.
the of a wave of stuff. Um, wait a second. Oh yeah, no, no, we've seen this. There's PvP stuff as well. Oh my god. Let's include this as well. Fuck it. All right, we have the uh, <clears throat> Blood Moon PvP stuff. The stuff for the PvP event and the items it can give. Druid Blood Harvest items. Class Druid increases damage done by arcane spells by 16 and nature spell damage by tw uh, 16 as well. We have something called Blood Bark Crusher. Uh, 80, 80 attack power. Sorry. And then 17 strength, 11 agility, 6 stamina. Use adds 5 storm strike damage to your melee attacks, damaging the target and its nearest allies up to 3 targets. Cause additional threat. Last 20 seconds. Huh. Something tells me this is going to be the tank item. And the pummeler might not be. I'm not sure. I don't know. And then there's a trinket that heals yourself. Oh, uh, heal a target. But uh, then you lose 300 health. Got a bow. Chance to on hit to increase strength by... Fi what the fuck? Not a... Okay, okay. Strength... It will be... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Strength, but we believe it will be changed to agility. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Increase your pet critical strike chance by 1%. Your pet critical hits cause you to become energized, granting you 5 mana. Okay. Sanguine... Qu oh, fuck a quiver. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to do PvP shit. And the ammo pouch. Yeah. No work around that. Okay. Bloodstone Resonance Circle. 16 uh, arcane dane damage uh, and then stamina and six int got fire and we got frost paladin got a main hand sword increases damage done by holy spells by 14 for stamina for int we have a two-handed sword 15 strength for teen stamina increase damage done by holy spells uh, effects up to 24 damn Trinket, unleash a delayed explosion of blood and light, causing 150 twilight damage. Twilight damage to all targets within. Okay, nice. Heals the target, and then yeah, same thing there with the drink. Uh, with the with the trinket, heal someone else. Uh, priests got a healing ring. We got a sh DPS ring, and we have uh, a shield instead of a heal. Okay, we got rogues. A nice dagger, another nice dagger, one hand and offhand, and then we have another fist weapon offhand, okay. Shaman, shield, offhand, 5 int, 5, five stamina, 8 int, increase damage by done and healing by 14, 2 handed mace, oof, knocks target silver for 2 seconds, PvP. Uh, Unleash a delayed explosion of blood, causing 150 plague damage. Interesting. And then the healing thing. Here's a warlock. Thank God. Holy shit. This is probably going to be really good. Increases damage done by fire spells and, uh, up to 14. Then we pull down for shadow. Yep. And then we have your pet gains 20 stamina and 80 intellect. And there's explosion of blood, causing fire. Shadow, shadow flame damage. Okay. Then we have Warrior, Skull Crusher, 1 handed mace, 10 strength, 6 agility. We got the 2 handed mace, 18 strength, 12 stamina, crit 1%. And Exsanguinar, unleash a flourish of steel and blood, wounding all enemy targets within 8 yards, dealing 65%, 65 shadow strike damage, and causing them to bleed for initial 5. Wounding all enemy targets within 8 yards. Dealing 65 shadow strike damage and causing them to bleed for an additional 5 damage every 
two seconds for 30 seconds to move forward. Interesting. All right, that's all the PvP items as well. Let's see, have there been anything else? No. Man, we've been spammed by so much right now. Holy crap. Could be a stat stake for melee? For hunter melee? I mean the... This is only for warriors though. They're all class specified. Hmm. All right, cool, cool. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to fix now. Holy shit. Uh, that was a lot of uh, stuff. And I thought I was going to game today. Holy shit. I've been covering WoW news since 5 or 6 o'clock. Holy shit. Boom. See you tomorrow.